from outsider to front runner. Jeremy Corbyn must still be catching his breath as Labour holds its breath with the ballot about to open. So campaigning in Aberdeen, would he fire back at claims that he might split or possibly destroy the party? We don't do personal attacks, we don't do abuse, we don't do personal criticisms, never have, never will. Life is too short for that. We do policies. Our campaign is about democracy, is about people, is about participation. Rival candidate Yvette Cooper was in Manchester today outlining her plan to put family values at the centre of a new look Labour. But she made it clear there's no love lost in the family of leadership hopefuls. I actually think, to be honest, that Jeremy will find it really hard to hold our party together and I can't bear to see our party break apart. You know, if the polls are right and Jeremy's ahead, I don't think in the end he does have the ideas that are radical and credible for the future. I think it's looking back to the past and we've got to have an alternative. So what about those polls? Well, the latest has Jeremy Corbyn out front at 53%. Before this leadership race, Labour had 200,000 members. Now it's 610,000, prompting concern that some non-supporters have signed up to infiltrate the leadership ballot. But one of Labour's best-known faces says the numbers are a good sign. I think what's interesting is his campaign has doubled the size of the Labour Party. I mean, we had a, you know, we've gone to over 600,000 people. I mean, this is amazing. And these aren't all Tories who joined. These are people suddenly think, here's a politician who understands our problems and speaks for us. But the candidate to beat knows there are plenty of voices opposing his from within the party. Just at a time when it needs to come together, could Labour be on the verge of picking itself apart? Peter Lane, 5 News.